I'm gonna make chocolate banana cream pie. It's classic comfort food. It's got a graham cracker crust, chocolate pudding, bananas, and whipped cream on top. I mean, a uh, duh, who wouldn't love that? So it starts with a really rich chocolate pudding. So I need three quarters of a cup of sugar, five extra large egg yolks. This is one time they don't have to be room temperature. A third of a cup of cornstarch. You want a really rich, thick chocolate pudding. And a teaspoon of salt. I know it sounds odd to put salt in something sweet, but it really brings out the chocolate flavor. Okay, I'm just gonna mix these together at low speed, just until they're combined. The next thing I need is four cups of scalded milk, which means it's just below the simmering point. You'll see little bubbles right around the edge, and that's when it's perfect. And since it's really hard to pour milk from a pot into a mixer, and it's hot milk, I'm gonna pour it into a measuring cup that has a spout, it's much easier. So I'm just gonna take this and pour it very slowly into the eggs. What I don't wanna do is scramble the eggs. So you want them to warm up really slowly. It's really like making a custard. A really rich, deep chocolate custard. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and pour it back into the pan and cook it for a few minutes just until it's really thick. And then I'm gonna add lots of chocolate. So pour it back into the pan, same pan, you don't have to clean the pan out. Okay, I'm just gonna cook this at a medium low heat for about five minutes, just until it's really thick. I'll see you on the other side. This looks like it's perfect. You can see it's sort of the consistency of warm pudding. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna add lots of chocolate, seven ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Just pour it in, it's just gonna melt right into it. Next is two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I've just diced it up so it melts in. Just give it a little extra richness. And now because I love coffee and chocolate together, I'm gonna add two things that have coffee flavor. The first one is a tablespoon of coffee liqueur. Just gives it real depth of flavor. And we want lots of flavor. And the second one is instant coffee or espresso, whichever one you like, whatever you have in the pantry. It doesn't really matter. It smells so good. All the chocolate and the coffee together, it's just fantastic. Next thing is to pour it into the crust. And this is my foolproof graham cracker crust. Let me tell you how I made it. I put 10 to 12 graham crackers in the food processor and ground them up. Transferred the crumbs to a bowl, added a quarter of a cup of sugar and three quarters of a stick of melted butter. Stirred the mixture together, poured it into an 11 inch false bottom fluted pie tin. Pressed it gently with a measuring cup into the corners and across the base, making sure the sides and bottom are an even thickness. Then baked the crust at 350 degrees for 10 minutes then set it aside to cool completely. It's really important to let the crust cool completely so the warm pudding doesn't soak into the crust. So here comes the moment. I'm just gonna pour it in and hopefully it's just the right amount. Oh, how good does this look? And how good does it smell? And you want it right up to the top, just smooth it out. So I'm just gonna add bananas and whipped cream to this. Now this is my kind of fruit dessert. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little plastic wrap, I wanna chill this, but I don't want it to form a skin. So I'm gonna take a piece of plastic wrap and just put it directly on the pudding and that'll keep it nice and creamy. So just smooth this out and I'm gonna chill it for six hours. And then I'm gonna put bananas and whipped cream on top. But I happen to have one already chilled in the fridge. This is the chilled pie, and I made some whipped cream. Look how dark and delicious and chocolatey this looks. Wow, I love it. And I've made whipped cream, it's three ingredients, really easy. I poured a cup of cold, heavy cream into an electric mixer. It has to be cold because you can't whip warm cream. Then added one tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, turned the mixer to medium high, and whisked it until it just made firm peaks. I've sliced some bananas, two or three depending on how big they are, and I'm gonna put them in concentric circles right on top of the tart. Now that looks pretty good already, but I'm gonna make it even better. So I'm gonna put a layer of whipped cream on top. 
This is a really earthy dessert. It's very comfort food. This isn't the time to pipe whipped cream. This is the time to just slather it on. And what I want to do is just push it right to the edge, but I still want you to see the bananas and the chocolate. I think it looks so much better that way. I think we need a little more whipped cream though. Just kind of pile it up. Now, is this the ultimate comfort food or what? Maybe a little extra decoration like shaved chocolate on the top. I've used bittersweet chocolate in the tart, but if I use milk chocolate, if you have a little bit, it's actually easier to shave and make curls. Otherwise, it tends to just end up kind of ground on top. Look how good that looks. Okay, let's see if I'm gonna put it on a cake stand. So, I've got a nice cake stand. And let's see if I can get it out of the tart shell. So this is a false bottom tart shell. So what you do is just take it off and slide it right onto the cake stand. Wow, I don't know that this is everybody's idea of a make-ahead fruit dessert, but you can make a lot of it ahead and it's got fruit in it, right? Works for me. 